I am one with my glorious I am presence. and Holy Christ Self. My personalities, body elemental, and new spirit. All parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment. And my aura is fully contained within Metatron's cosmic egg. I am now ready to receive today's message. Greetings, beloveds. The winds of change are upon you. So open your spirits and allow this great wind to go through you, washing out and taking away the old, purifying your being from within, and bringing forth the new frequencies, the new energies, the new thoughts that are intended to guide you along your path of attainment and of ascension. These winds are blowing through everywhere, around and to every one and every part of creation. These are indeed part of the solar winds that are emanating from your sun and the solar flares that are happening on a figure, fairly regular basis at this time. Resistance is futile and will only cause you unnecessary pain and disturbances. So allow all that needs to leave you to go freely. Do not try to hold on to it. Do not desperately claim for your own that which is no longer yours. Allow it to go freely and effortlessly of its own accord. Simply let go. and let go of your attachment to it. Let go of your desire for it. And when you are able, let go of its memory. When Saint Germain was working with Lotus Ray King and her husband, Godfrey Ray King. One of the affirmations that was given when you were attempting to release a certain energy form was to have it annihilated, cause, effect, record, and memory. This way was the most complete and perfect form of detaching yourself from any person 
or energy from which you wish to have a total dis disconnect. For as long as the memory of something remains, then there is at least a partial energy link to it. When some people say, I can forgive, but I cannot forget, that means, in fact, that the forgiveness is neither total nor complete. For if they hold on to the memory of it, it is as if to say, they only partially forgive. Now this does not mean that the lesson associated with any event needs to be remembered. The lesson should be retained. And whatever you learned from that event that was forgiven should be retained as wisdom. But the energy links of that event can be fully removed by asking that the cause, effect, record, and memory be removed from your consciousness. In this way, full forgiveness can be granted and received and you can be free of any energy links to any person by doing this. As you continue along your path, beloveds, this type of forgiveness is required of you. However, as I have said before, you are not responsible in any way for what the person does with your forgiveness. They may or may not accept to be forgiven, but that does not mean that you need to maintain any type of energy link with that person. All energy links can be cut from your side. It does not mean that the other person also needs to be aware of it or to be engaged in it in any fashion whatsoever. You are the master of your body and your aura. So you are the only one that can cut any, any energy links that you wish to have severed. You may always ask for Archangel Michael's assistance with this. And Christmas also has a special technique that was given to her that she uses to disconnect energy links that have been established with other people. And you may contact her if you wish to know this technique and wish to learn how to do it yourself 
so that you may disconnect from anyone with whom you have established energy links. During this period of ascension, there are certain wannabe spiritual guides who get their energy from agreements that they have made with certain people that they have worked for or with. This is why discrimination is very important on your part, beloveds. For if you have agreed to do energy work with certain people, you must be very vigilant that they are acting with pure hearts and that all the work done is done according to God's will, not to your personal will, nor according to the personal will of the person who is doing the energy work with you or for you. If you ever feel that your energy is being stolen or siphoned off or taken from you in any fashion whatsoever, then it is important to cut the energy links with the person or people that are taking your energy. The only reason to do energy work with any other person is in order that you might receive pure divine energy. But it must come from a person who has attained a certain degree of purity themselves. Otherwise, the energy will be tainted and impure. And this can open the way to needless suffering, beloveds. That is why all of my instructions have been for you to receive love and light directly from the highest and purest source that is available to you. Working with any of the Ascended Masters who are well known and long established on this planet is a safe method. Working with the angels and archangels is also a safe method. Working with myself is safe. Calling from Father, Mother, God is safe. There is no ego in any of these beings or frequencies that you can call to in order to receive the holy living light of God. So be vigilant and discerning if you ask to receive love and light from any other source. This is for your protection, beloveds. The Catholic Church had many people praying to saints and the Catholic Church told people that they were unable to pray to God directly. This is simply untrue. And it was done 
as a type of control so that people would give their money to the church and so that people would believe that unless they followed the church's rules, they would go to hell and would not be admitted into heaven. This is, of course, simply not true. And in this time of the Great Awakening, the purpose of all awakening is so that each individual can make their own personal connection to God, to their own divine self, in whatever way they choose. So be discerning about this, beloveds. Find your own path and your own way back to God. Believe in your own heart and in your own ability to find God within you. Open up and receive only the purest and highest information and energy that resonates as truth within your whole entire being. And you will surely find your way home. And the gates of heaven will be opened to you. And you will be greeted with open arms and eternal immense love by the entire spiritual hierarchy that is waiting just on the other side of the veil for you to pull the veil aside and walk through it. This will be your ascension, beloveds. This will be the great homecoming that is offered to each and every one of you if you are only willing to take the steps to get there. I thank you for listening to this video. I love you and I bless you always. I am Metatron.